Stay tuned for the quick unboxing and preview of the Origins Real Jack and come back later on for the full review. Rod and Spill here and today we're going to do a review on the long awaited final piece of our Origin series. This time it is Origin Wheeljack. It is a Voyager class, part of the Transformers United. And you have the logo, Transformers Generations, the Legacy United logo. On this side, you got good old Wheeljack in his robot mode. This is the 40 year anniversary special Legacy poster. There is the UPC. <clears throat> and on the back, now, this completes the trio of Bumblebee, Jazz, and now Wheeljack to recreate that very first episode of Transformers, More Than Meets the Eye. So you've got Origin Wheeljack, you have the blast cover that goes on top, you've got two spinning blades, you've got Bumblebee could fit inside uh, Wheeljack in the back, and it's 32 steps. All right, <clears throat> let's get this guy opened. Let's see, what's the easiest way to open these is probably from the bottom. So, we're just going to open this up. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> Alright, and we'll slide them out. <clears throat> First, we have the <clears throat> booklet, Legacy United, Origin Wheeljack. All right, so first things first, we put his blaster on his shoulder. <clears throat> we put the little spinning blades in his back. You can attach the three-piece blast shield on his back, which you look silly. You can attach the <clears throat> spinning blades on the tip of his gun, put in his hand, and now you can put the things on the... They have that again. I wonder why they uh, duplicate that step. But they do. And uh, let's see. <clears throat> Normal steps. I mean, this guy really does expand a lot. All right. And then over here, we've got the two spinning blades, the gun here, the blast... And then what is this? Again, the guns. Again, the spinning blades, the gun. On this one, you make the track together, and you can glide along the track. So not really why they duplicated a lot of this stuff, but that is the instruction booklet. That's just different languages. And here is the actual wheel jack. So it comes packed in robot mode. There is the three-piece blast shield, the gun, the spinning blades, and the wheel jack figure. Um, and there is the back of him. All right. <clears throat> this is a true unboxing. <clears throat> what I think I might do is just post this unboxing video. Because it's going to take me probably a day <clears throat> to really play with this guy. Because his transformation is pretty complex. So, <clears throat> right now we're just going to take everything out. And we got this. <clears throat> Alright, let me do some camera. There, a little camera adjustment. So, let's get rid of these little see-through pieces. And, uh, now he is a deluxe size figure. But he's massive and parts count. And, um, they started this years ago where upping class... Upping figure class sizes with accessories or, like, parts count. Come on. You know, I think it all started with the Shockwave Leader class, and then like they did it with Hot Rod, and uh, <clears throat> so here is Wheel Jack. Let's see. First things, yeah, that is a big, uh, that is a big backpack, <clears throat> but we'll go over that <clears throat> later. Okay, first we got these spinning little blades. Not entirely show accurate, but they're pretty cool. They add them in, and they do fit at the tip of his gun. And so here's his gun. <clears throat> now I thought Wheeljack had the shoulder cannon and a gun. I wonder why they didn't put both of them in here. <clears throat> I don't know the Siege one did the same thing. <clears throat> and then let's see. And they're blast effect compatible, which will show off in a minute. So there is the little gun. Alright, let's get some blast effects. And uh, ta-da! Blast effects. <clears throat> Can you put blast effects on these? Oh, double blast effect. Look at that. So you can put this on. <clears throat> that is pretty cool. <clears throat> and then you can put it here. It actually has a space for it. Thank you, Hasbro, for doing that. <clears throat> and now you could actually play Immobilizer Disc. That one episode, I think that's coming out soon. 
with the uh, wheel jacks coming with the mobilizer disc. I think in the five pack, I'm not sure. But uh, there we go. Um, there. So we can put it there and here. They should have given them two guns. They really should have given them two guns for this. So <clears throat> there you go. <clears throat> or if you want to make it more impact, let's put all the guns on. And we're not going to do the bloosh like you know who does, but still pretty cool. All right, so we've got these. What I say? They could fit here. <clears throat> yep, they fit here. These little, little tabs. <clears throat> They're white, and they blend in with the back. <clears throat> and then you've got these. <clears throat> Let's get that instruction booklet. <clears throat> All right, here's the instruction booklet. So it's just, <clears throat> hmm. how do you do this? <clears throat> Something's not right here. <clears throat> Something is not right. <clears throat> Here's the, th why, is <clears throat> huh. we'll have to figure that out later. Because <clears throat> if you look right here, this is flat, <clears throat> and I don't see how you can, <clears throat> I wonder if, you know what, they probably, I bet you what they did is they probably just, <clears throat> I don't want to break these, <clears throat> but we'll deal with that later. All right, <clears throat> does it, yeah, it's, it's got them breaking apart. <clears throat> All right, now let's just do it now since we're on live. All right, I'm sure they're just friction pegs. There you go. I don't want to break anything, but they're very... There. All right. Ooh. Look at that. A stress mark already. Right there. First time I uh, <clears throat> I pop these off, you get a stress mark. Everything looks so good. <clears throat> uh, yeah. All right. Everything looks to be good, <clears throat> but... <clears throat> So we got these go like this. So this is how you do the. <clears throat> so you want to do it like this. That you know. <clears throat> and how do you put these in? Oh, okay. And what you have is, let me get a good, and the reflection. This little uh, odd shape thing, and you got that. So what you want to do is. Stick that there, stick that there, and now you got wheel jack. <clears throat> this guy's massive, but <clears throat> but the, what he does is amazing. <clears throat> All right, so that is the correct post. <clears throat> All right, and there is wheel jack or Jackie as they called him in Prime. <clears throat> All right, let's take these off again. And now look at the actual wheel jack figure. <clears throat> Does this snap in? Yes. <clears throat> All right. So the head oh, and the wings. We got a split. It doesn't say anything about the wings, does it? Um, nope, because it's got the wings there. But, all right. We'll get, this is going to be a long video probably. All right. Let's look at the face. Very accurate wheel jack face. Um... I think the mouthpiece is just a tad off from the from the sides. You got the blue eyes, and you got the green, the red, and the white. I love the green windshield. Uh, it's got a waist, which is a lighter gray than it used to be black. Now the feet are pretty massive, but there was no way um, to get around it because most of the vehicle is compressed in the legs. So you turn him sideways, and yes, he does have a backpack, but you know what? I've seen figures with bigger backpacks, so I'm not worried about it. There is from the back. Now, he does have a lot of clear plastic pieces, so that might be worrisome. Can't believe I got a stress. Look at that. Stress mark. Boom. Already. First time I opened it, I got a stress mark. Uh, anyway, there. All right. And a little wing, so... Let's see, the head does go 320, uh, 360 degrees up and down. Now the arms will go 360, but you gotta move it just a little. Um, he goes out all the way. 
you got rotation at the bicep, 90 degree elbow, even hands are 360 degrees, nice. Wow, look at that waist, Woo! he's got a good waist. Let's see, the arms again. <clears throat> now the feet are packed a lot, but you got forward, <clears throat> uh, you got back. Again, you just gotta move all this stuff out, almost the full split. He's got, I like how it's it's not hollow. Look at that, it's all completely sealed in by a pin. So it's got 360 degree rotation at the thigh. And I love how the top stands still and just this piece moves. I like how they do that. So let's see. Uh, well, so the knee would be 90 degrees or actually a little more than 90 degrees. And then the other side <clears throat> is the same. And then you got the ankle rocker, which is pretty good. It's on, it's on a ball joint, so pretty much good movement. <clears throat> and let's see. So right off the bat, <clears throat> um, I like him. I don't think he's as bad in person. But from what this guy does, I think it's, <clears throat> it's amazing what they did. <clears throat> and... Yeah, I don't know if I want to keep. Does and he has five millimeter ports too. You know what? Let's just put this on him anyway. Now we're gonna bring in. Before we do the real robot to robot comparisons, we're gonna bring in the trio. Oh, what the heck? Oh, hold on. There we go. Let's just keep him like that. And now we're going to bring in <clears throat> the first one, Origins Bumblebee. Now, this was a buzzworthy Bumblebee, um, but they discontinued that line, but he's still a Target exclusive. And this just came in. Today is uh, Thursday, the 4th of April, 2024. So he was released on 331, which was Easter Sunday, which all those targets were close. So really, if you were lucky enough to see him in the stores Monday... So we got the energy rods that came with Bumblebee. Bumblebee came with a gun and a jet pack. And then we got Jazz. And Jazz came with a gun and a like a harpoon. So these are the three <coughs> robots that we saw <coughs> in the very first episode of... Uh, Transformers from 1984, and I can't wait to get these guys get these guys in vehicle mode and show you what they got. All right, now let's do some regular uh, comparisons. This will end the quick unboxing and preview. Stay tuned for the full review.